One of the most reclusive gaming studios in the industry is Playdead, and even after co-founder Dino Patti left along with lead gameplay designer Yep Carlson, shortly after the release of Inside, remaining members of Playdead including founder Arndt Jensen have said next to nothing. Looking at what we know, the studio has been working on a third game for quite some time now. The studio has gradually increased in size over the years from a handful of people to now over 50. Game 3 is going to be the studio's first 3D attempt and will be a third person science fiction adventures set in a remote corner of the universe. What we don't know is when we might see Game 3 and maybe looking at the history of the studio we can get a better idea. In 2004, Playdead was founded with the concept of Limbo and two years later in the fall of 2006, Arndt Jensen released an early gameplay trailer in an attempt to attract more developers to help complete his vision. In 2010, Limbo was released on the Xbox 360 to critical acclaim and established Playdead as a studio to keep an eye on. In early June of 2014 at E3, Playdead revealed their second game Inside with a teaser trailer. Over two years later, at the end of June 2016, Inside was released and truly cemented Playdead as one of the best indie studios in the gaming industry, a label that has grown even greater with their absence. The time from when Limbo truly started development to release was 2006 to 2010. The time that Inside likely started development was immediately after the release of Limbo in 2010 to the release in 2016. Limbo was four years, Inside was six years, and if we're going to use that formula, it would seem like eight years would make sense, which would mean 2024. However, there was the whole pandemic thing right in the middle of development, along with the departure of a bunch of what appeared to be essential team members. This would include co-founder Dino Patti, who left to co-found Jumpship, and Yep Carlson, lead gameplay designer on both Limbo and Inside, who would leave to co-found Geometric Interactive with other Playdead programmers. Obviously, you can replace talent that has left, but it does take some time to find the right people. All of these departures, along with the pandemic, have likely affected the development of Game 3 to some extent. If we're going to look at the precedent from Playdead's relatively small development history, it would unfortunately seem like 2024 would be the earliest that we're going to get any type of reveal or release. The silver lining is that since the release of Inside in 2016, the gaming industry has mostly shortened their reveal to release window and even shadow drops have now become a much more common practice.